Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 Summit Racing Equipment Atlanta Motorama, and uh, Chris Ryan had his 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark II, great eight winning Chris Ryan and his 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark II. I think y'all are going to like it. Very cool car. I didn't get it in Detroit, but I did get it at the Summit Racing Equipment Atlanta Motorama. Let's turn the camera around and take a quick look at it. Chris, thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. Sure, Scott, anytime. Tell me, uh, many years you showed up in Detroit, and this year they gave you the Big Grade 8 Award. Yeah, we kind of, uh, I don't know if we earned it or lucked into it or whatever, but oh, we're extremely man. happy Dude, about it. Yeah, so. don't, hey, look, there ain't no charity <laughs> cases in Detroit. You want it fair and square. Well, I appreciate it. And we, uh, I think what I'm most proud of, we built the style of car that we built to take there. We and it's it's your style. I don't yeah. think there's many people that are building your style, and that's not an insult. I, I it's just, yeah, I don't know if that's good or one, not. Right, I know. That's I clarified it's a good thing but yeah no when you see one of your cars um they're gonna be the lead sled kind of looking slammed to the ground big but beautiful well thank you i appreciate it that's, artistic that's what we're trying to do uh when we built this continental i wanted to pay homage to the barrises the winfields the Agostinos that, that have done this forever and ever mostly on the west coast not right. in south carolina on right, the east right. coast i'm on the wrong side of the country brother right. but uh that's kind of what we're trying to do to emulate their style from the late 60s and 70s. Tell me about this one. This car here actually has some Georgia roots. This car belonged to Susan Hayward, the actress from the 40s and 50s. In her later years, she spent in Carrollton, Georgia. And the car got shuffled around. Actually went to Bruce, one of the promoters here. Right. Wilson, we figured dad. that out standing yeah. in the parking lot. Yeah. Small world, right? Because right. yeah. there can't be but well, one or two of them in all. Well, actually, we I think, when we figured that out. But yeah. There can't be but one or two of them in all of Georgia. Sure. And, and we lucked into the same one. And uh, I, dr I drug it home, and I, I tried to hook one of my customers on it, but uh, they're mostly into Cadillacs. For some reason, we you get stuck in it. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, Lincoln's, eh, Cadillacs, we're known for. So I decided it was time to build one for myself. And like I said, we wanted to emulate the real custom kings, you know. The tell me, tell me some, of the, some of the things you've done to it. Sure, it's chopped two inches. We took three quarters of an inch out of the hat. Probably the most recognizable thing that we did, the iconic continental hump on the trunk, gone. Right. We, we took it and made it a show sign out. It just flows say, so much down. better with sure that. Sure does. You know, yeah. we, we tucked our bumpers in, we shaved it, nosed it, decked it, extended the rockers, extended the quarter panels. Every body panel on that car has been massaged some way, just to clean it up, right. you know. Right. So, what about up underneath? Uh, underneath that we have a uh, Ride Tech four bar in the rear, stainless uh, four bar. We have Shockwaves front and rear, Batman front sus suspension on it. So it's got the original Continental. Chassis. We used the original outside frame rail. See, they were almost. They, they were a ladder frame to begin with. The floors actually were channeled over the frame almost. So it was almost factory channeled. So we used the outside rails of the original car and basically set the car on the ground and built the front half and the rear half using the outside rails to keep it channeled over there. So, but it's probably 50% stock chassis and the rest of it's all fat. But that was just there. unique that this one happened to be set up almost to be customized. Yeah, that way, it, it right? was, it's almost channeled to begin with. They were, yeah. Uh, and what's up under the hood? We got a 5 0 Coyote from Ford Motorsports under it with a six speed automatic transmission in it. Uh, I did a steering column. We have uh, master power brakes on all four corners of it. Stops great, runs great. You know, we built to be dependable because right. my idea is to drive this thing eventually. Yeah. You know, I just don't want to look at it. Uh, I see your stuff out driving. Yeah. Uh, and that's important to us that our cars work and function right. as they should. It's important that, you know, that they stop good, uh, go good, turn, handle. Air conditioning, you know, big boys need air conditioning. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 I want to yeah. be cold when we're riding around in it. What color is it? Uh, PPG helped us out with that. That's from their Vibrance collection. It's called Crystallins. Uh, it's actually a glass flake. It's not the old metal flake, but it has that really chunky look of the old metal flake. And then we put seven coats of red candy over top of the glass flake on it. Just gorgeous. What about the interior? Tell me about that. Chuck Hanna from Mooresville does all our interiors. He's probably handled 15, 20 interiors for me over the years. And uh, they have 64 or 5 T-Bird seats. We have a 60 Chrysler uh, letter car instrument cluster located in the center that they called the Astrodome. They're actually electro. So that wasn't the part of that car. No, that, that it almost it fits really well, right? It looks yeah, like right it should have came, yeah. Well, that was on a '60 Chrysler letter car, and they don't have bulbs in those instrument clusters. Everybody thinks it lights up. It doesn't. It's called electroluminescent. Now, mind you, this is 60 years old almost. Right. They take 12 volt DC, run it through a transformer, converts it to 400 volts AC. So actually, the letters, the numbers, the gauges, all the paint inside there lights up, not with bulbs. 
And this wow. was almost 60 years ago they did this. That's, so wow. that's what that's from. Holy cow. And the steering wheel is a 61 Plymouth. I don't know if you noticed it, but it's not even round. Oh, yeah. Which I thought would look awesome. It was killer. And we had a guy in California help us out with that and even metal flake the steering wheel. But being almost a D shape, if you will, yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. like a modern steering wheel, like yeah. a race steering wheel. But yeah. when you're driving it, it doesn't return to center like normal because <laughs> it's not round. So. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, it looks cool, but it's kind of uncomfortable to drive like that, so. Brother, beautiful job. Anybody you need to give a shout out to before you go? Oh uh, yeah, how about uh, PPG, Refinish, always helped us out with most of our products. Fat Man Fabrications with the stuff. I did a steering columns, Dan Baker from Alumacraft, uh, Street Rod Grills, Ron Francis Wiring Harness, Chuck Hanna Interior, and Vintage Air Conditioning. I hope I got everybody. Awesome. They're all great vendors and suppliers, and more importantly, they're friends that we deal with daily. And this being my personal car, a lot of them really stepped up to help you out. And if people want to follow what you're doing, because you're always building cool, how is the best way to do that? Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, our website, ryansroncustom.com, or ryansroncustom on Facebook and on Instagram. Awesome. Brother, again, thanks so much for giving me time today. Certainly, anytime. Enjoy it, Scotty D. So there you go from the 2018 Summit Racing Equipment Atlanta Motorama, a 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark II, the Scarlet Lady, 2018 Great 8 winner by Ryan's Rod and Custom. How cool is that? Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.